here he is, Edgar Degas. And as you can see, he did these beautiful ballet paintings. And what I'm trying to do is recreate this to see how um, difficult or, you know, or what way did he actually paint this. I'm having some moments already where I'm not exactly getting the feel that he has. So, and here's my painting. And I've just started on the uh, lady in the corner here. And the lady behind's head is coming up here. And it took me a while to realize that. And she's going to come in here now. But as you can see, I've already started. And I have the lady in. But my dress here isn't quite the same flowing as his. But, you know, I'll work on it a little bit more and see what I can get. Um, painting the old masters, you lear learn techniques and act the actual way they did things. And uh, for a beginner to actually copy a painting, you know, just to learn the techniques, that's a really good idea. Yeah, the hardest part about painting to gas is every single little line has a shape or form. As you can see, I'm trying to get the outlines. Here's the second girl in a little bit with shape and her head's back here. Still messy up in here, but it's beginning to take shape. And now I'm trying to bring in this girl here and there'll be another girl here. So I'm trying to get the shapes correct so that I can start detailing them you know because it's all in the lines that the gas forms these black lines at the very end in that so let's see how this goes I'll keep painting hi there it's developing slowly I have the shapes that I need I'm not too sure whether I'll change my background or not but at the moment I'm getting the shapes I want so that it has some kind of look like the gas. It's all in his detailed lines and you know having the exact same shapes. And it's difficult. Even my arms are still a little bit out and I'll have to work on those more. And this is like, you know, I've been a couple hours yesterday and quite a few hours today just getting this into that sh shape, that the shapes I need. And you know, I can add detail afterwards. So I'm just gonna carry on painting and we'll see how this goes. Yeah, I'm working on this red in here by the uh, dress here. And as you can see, I'm using an old brush. I just dab it straight down into this red, make sure it's got a little spots on it. And basically, I want it to have just little spots in here. Oh, look at that, isn't that lovely? Maybe that's how he did it. Maybe that's his technique. I'm not sure. It's mine. I had blues a little wet, but sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. Because it gives a purplish hue. 50-50 in here, and you can see I check it out on the wax paper first. Like that. There we go. And then we'll give it a little dab again. Get a little bit more red in there until we get it right. Okay. Yeah. What I'm trying to do is get his effect of the dresses here. It's like all little spots really, or little dabs, but it's kind of got a cloud effect to it so you can see through. And you know, so I'm dabbing with my bristle brush on this and trying to get the same effect. I'm worried about losing a little with too much paint, but you know, I suppose I should let it dry and go again, but I'm doing it a little bit wet at the moment to see what happens. He was a fantastic painter, so it's very hard to copy his style. That's what I've got and that's what he's got. So far anyways, another ton of hours maybe I'll get this. I'm working on her arm and her hand there on her dress and the dresses. I've been painting the touch-ups in here and as you can see I'm using some really fine brushes to get little lines and that but um, last night I did some detail and this morning uh, but last night as well on the faces and now that it's drying a bit it's much easier but I also last night sponged in the dress I couldn't get this 
soft effect that he has and I've achieved it pretty good. I think he lets it dry with the lines first and then either sponges or touches in the light blue afterwards. Mine was a little wet so I had a little bit of difficulty with that. Um, the, uh, I'm shaping the legs right now and the shoes. I haven't finished this girl in behind and this leg here as you can see hasn't been done. So I'm slowly getting there. But you know it's beginning to look like a painting, a, a Degas painting. I said Degas yesterday, my wife corrected me. So there you go. I'll uh, keep touching up the legs and that. And touch up, touch up, touch up until I get more of the effect and try to get it as original as possible. You do learn a lot by uh, copying a master. You can see he painted underneath first and then started layering it. Whereas I went a little quicker and the layering isn't really showing through. Maybe next time I'll have to layer. As you can see, I did very small spots down here on the base, on the stage. I'll zoom in so you can see them. Yeah, I finished the painting. I took the curtain and placed it over the other side because of the 12 by 12 square I actually picked for framing because I already had a frame for it. So there we go, see? I've got a couple of different frames. I might even put it in black. Kind of like that, see? There we go. Right? So, I, uh, that was the first thing. I wanted to balance it out more and make it more middle because it was like lisping to one side with too much on this side. So, I changed the uh, curtain to the other side and then filled her, up, her dress out a little more. I changed from the splash that they, the, guy, the guy had and made it into these little circles on here and then went down into very fine little spots at the very bottom they're like splashes which I really like I left it for quite a while for a couple of days and just touched it up today but I feel that it's the closest I've got so far at what I'm happy with and that's what happens sometimes you kind of move away from and this is a print and so some of it's a bit vague about you know it's kind of just reds and it's kind of uh, a poor print, let's put it that way. Whereas here you've got fantastic detail now. So I'm very pleased. The uh, two girls in the back here, which are just white blobs, are a little bit more distinct in mine. I have these two little people back here, but they're kind of faded in the background. I changed that a little. Changed this too, this stripe a little. Net. But I'm really happy with what I got. For the um, round I was using, the round spots I was using a real old brush and I kept twisting it like this. I actually got a pain in my arm. That's why the brace here. Uh, tennis elbow, not from tennis but from painting. So I was twisting like this to make the round spots with this brush and I basically wore the brush totally out. There was nothing left. So I used this one in the end. It's not great. It's an old one. I cut a little corner and did this. I got some of the brush. It wasn't as good as the last one, but it did the trick. So that's how I got the round circles. To get the little spots, I had to use um, an old fan brush, dipping it straight down in the paint and then dipping it on the wax paper to make sure there's not too much paint on it. Just touching the painting itself and then bringing it up and melding it into the other spots. So there you go. There's some tips on how I did the painting. Also, that's how I did the little spots on the dresses with the fan brush. The end of that tip there, the one girl, and there's another girl there in behind in the background, which is what I put in, which is different a little bit. 